Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing National Hockey League 23 and we are being a professional netminder. The professional part, definitely up for debate. I could see an argument either way. But regardless, we have so far amounted a record of 12-8-0. We have a 240 GAA, a 922 save percentage, so not too shabby. I think we're having a good year. The team has a record of 15-11-2, which I mean... You know, it was a decent record, but the record we started out with to end up with that, uh, it's kind of rough. Basically, we lost a lot of games in a short period of time. But hopefully we can get back on track here and win some more hockey games. We do have the Columbus Blue Jackets, who are first in the league right now. So this would be a massive win if we could pull it off, but they are going to be a tough team to beat. Ooh, all right. Shots are even, scores even. What a game to jump into. Columbus still has line A. They also got Terra Sancho and Kamel. It looks like their netminder might be Aiden Hill. I'm not sure if he's their starter or if they put their backup in this game, but he's a net for them right now. That's all I know. Hearing the crowd chanting CBJ just for some reason reminds me of NHL 06, where you got to choose what your crowd chant was. I mean, there wasn't a whole lot of options, but... There was some. It really does feel like we're bringing the physicality back, and I love it so much. We need that aspect of our game. I feel like that's when we were doing really well. Arvidsson, ooh. Looks like he might have taken a bit of a headshot there. Also, the ref pretty much refused to blow the whistle, it seemed like, because he had that puck covered for quite a while. Are we not going to talk about that? Aiden Hill... Literally just being inside of the net. Hold on. I can't let this slide under the radar. So the puck goes behind the net and he is all of a sudden like, you know what? I'm going to become one with the net. To be fair to him, he did just that. And then <laughs> what a weird sequence of events. The crowd noise keeps coming in and out and it is very weird. I don't like it at all. Yes, our guy got there first. That's very clutch of you, Goche. Thank you so much. Why does the crowd keep going silent? I don't like this at all. It feels weird. Can we make a little bit of noise at least? I'm not asking for a metal concert over here. I just want a little bit of background noise, you know? A little bit of white noise. Is that too much to ask for? It looks like they are kind of making some noise right now, which is nice. Oh my word, guys. We got to get it out right now. What do we... No! How? Okay. No, I'm not passing it out. I don't care. I don't know how I feel about those Blue Jackets jerseys. Like, they're kind of cool, but there's just something about that, like, super dark blue... Is it a blue? Is it black? I think it's really dark blue. It just doesn't sit well with me. I don't know. Five minutes to go. We're still all tied up at two here. And Nate Mack almost changed that. A very dramatic save attempt from Hill. But it went wide of the net regardless. So it didn't really matter. Send that your way. What happened there? That was weird. Anyway, pucks out of our zone. And we give it up at the blue line. Great stuff. I really want them to stop with this CBJ chant because I feel like this is what broke the crowd last time. As soon as they started doing that, it went silent. It got really weird. For what? Charging? You're going to call that a charge. That is just not fair. I want to see a replay. Show me the replay. They're not going to do it, are they? No, they're not. Oh, they are. That was just a very long sequence. That's a clean hit referee. Now I'm starting to see why Columbus is first in the league. Calls like that. And somehow, I think the power play still said two minutes. So that whole thing happened and not one second went away. Was I reading that correctly? Oh, there we go. It's updated. 152. Nice glove save. You have time. And you will succeed in sending it down the ice. Dylan has been my boy on defense. feel like he's been doing a great job. Getting the puck out when we need it. And White Cloud will also send it down the ice. Good stuff. If we can get one point out of this game, I'll be gassed. So, overtime, I'll take it at this point. There's another glove save. I tried to pass it again. I'm so happy this game denies me the opportunity to pass it. Because I probably would have had, like, five goals scored on me that way. If it didn't, you know, sort of have that barrier. Like, hey, you're kind of being a clown right now, so... I'm not going to let you pass it out. It's like a, like the child lock windows. Ooh, that was a weird one. But blockered away. Are they still on the power play? Another save. I tried to pass it again. Thank you so much, NHL. Thank you. Seven seconds remain on the power play. 
And we get a clean draw win back to Petrangelo, who sends it down the ice. You love to see it. I mean, if you guys want to score and not go to overtime, I'm not going to complain. I certainly won't be upset with your decision. We had a great attack going there. Weren't able to score on Hill, but hopefully we can get another one going here. No, they shut him down instantly. As soon as he walked over the line. Wait. Oh, no, we're taking a penalty. It's going to be four on three to start the OT. Not a fan of that whatsoever. Yeah, there it is. They also have Robert Thomas by the looks of it. Four on three to start this overtime. At least we get a point out of it. So even if they do score and end up taking us down, we got our point. So I'm happy with that. Good job. Yeah, I'll smother it this time around, I guess. I didn't even try that time. I have kind of learned my lesson from EA Sports constantly telling me no. Nah, let's be real here. I haven't learned my lesson. I'm going to make another bad pass like that that's going to end up in a goal. And it'll probably be at a clutch time again. Like, overtime in the playoffs or something like that. Another save on Zach Wierenski, who had a very good opportunity in the slot. He gets another slot shot. And the closest chance so far from overtime came from our own team. Big hit. Four on four action. A broken stick. I don't know when that happened. Petrangelo goes in the middle to Eichel. Back over to White Cloud on the side. But Wierenski going to pick his pocket. And CBJ coming right back the other way. Ooh, interesting shot. Just missed the net, though. Nice. What a save. You've got to be kidding me. That was outrageous. Tremendous shot from Nate Mack to finish the game, but wow. That should have been done 10 seconds ago. 34 save performance. I will absolutely take that. That's also just a hefty dub. First place team in the entire league, and we take them down. Hopefully... That will be a swing of momentum in the right way. Back to dialogue. I guess I could get one of these. So this is the one that it was telling me to get for that other answer, but... Uh, okay, fine. Let's go with it. Sure. I mean, we're already 86 overall. I don't think we really need to work on our stats too much anymore. Because we seem to be doing just fine with how we are. Chicago is 5th and we are 6th. So this is quite the duel. They do have 2 games on us at the moment. Because we have 2 more losses. But the wins and overtime losses are the same. But hopefully we can take another dub here. In a very important game. You know, it's not like important standings wise or whatever. But beating these teams... I feel like is a big morale booster. The teams that are up there in the standings. So this is an absolute shootout. It is 5-4. I guess we could jump in. To be fair, this is still tame compared to that Kraken Kings game that ended with 17 goals. I think it was 9-8. But yeah, standings wise, these games really aren't that important. You know, it's early season. Obviously, you want to get wins because it just takes the pressure off later. If you get wins now, you don't really have to worry so much about them later, but... It's more of a statement game than anything. You know, beating these good teams sort of sets the tone and puts us as a real contender. Cop walking out. Ooh, okay. Questionable play and a very questionable shot. Perhaps we should be practicing our accuracy here because what on earth did I just witness? That was horrendously off target. Oh my word. Fight initiated and no one's gonna... I'll do it again. As soon as we get this puck out, I'm going for another Tilly. Because our team is not standing up for our players. We need to add some toughness, I suppose. Because that is unacceptable. Well, guess I'm not going for a fight. Because they scored. And now it's tied. Maybe I should still, you know? Set the tone again. And get us some momentum. I'm doing it. I don't even know who their goalie is. But I'm fighting them. All right. I love how the players are just scattering around the puck and they can't pick it up. It is so funny whenever... Uh, I okay, what's going on? Oh, that's why. It was following the puck. Is that... Oh, it's Peter Mrazek. Okay. So far, I'm dusting him. And a dodge. Try to go for the... Can you even do that anymore? Because I've been trying and it's just simply not letting me. I want to get him in the jersey. And Okay, I'm ending it right there. Nice try, Peter. So we are now tied, and we could potentially be seeing another OT. Oh no, we took a penalty. We're going to be shorthanded again. I feel like we've been taking a lot of penalties recently. At least when I've been in the games, 
we have certainly been shorthanded more than we've been on the power play. So, yeah, we have been taking quite a few. I could be blowing it out of proportion, which I typically do. <laughs> In the mitten, wide open. Wide open, Alex. And he sends it down the ice. That's half the PP killed. Did we just take another one? Five on three. Guys, what are we doing out here? Thankfully, it's only for 25 seconds. Oh, they actually won the draw too. That's not good. Huge shot block. I don't even think he meant to do it. Just happened to be there. We got to get this thing killed. Nope. Save that easily. Shot down the ice. All right. We are back to just a five on four now. No siree. That... Ah, what am I doing? <laughs> the guy was right there. It actually worked out, but... I really have to stop that. I don't know why I do it all the time. I feel like the whistles just take forever. So I want to keep the play going by all means necessary. I just can't keep doing it though because it's going to keep getting close to goals and eventually it will be a goal. Let's go. Maybe we won't see an OT. After being shorthanded for a while there, we come and just bury one. Willie K, what a legend. The lads are back in the lead. Kirby Doc leveling our players right there, but still ended up losing the battle. And we get the puck out of our zone, which is crucial. Oh no, Radish is back in. He's got a chance here. What a hit. I love that from you. Their net is empty. Tried to cut in the middle. And Carlson, the man of the hour right now, gets back in time to pick it up. And just like that, it's back in the neutral zone. But Chicago won't be done that easily. Empty netter. Empty netter! You mad lad. What are you doing? You got over the blue line. <laughs> Name a more iconic duo than NHL 23 AI and not being able to score on an empty net. It's impossible. I'll wait, but I'm not going to get an answer that's acceptable. Three seconds to go. A big dub again. Not a good performance from either goalie. But at least we got the wins. You know, we have some positive. Although we had an 843 save percentage. It's all green. So coach is happy. I mean, as long as we're winning, I guess that makes sense. But I think it's time to do another big sim here. Finish up another 27 or so games. Last time I did this simulation, it did us dirty. So really hoping for a better turnout this time. Right now, it's not looking great. All right, we're doing amazing. Let's go, Golden Knights. This is what I'm talking about. What do you want from me, Nathaniel? Another big game coming up. We really need you to take this one over. No, you don't. No, you don't. Get out of here. Oh, makes me make another promise. That's poor from you, you know? You know what, James? Let's not take a look at the rest of the action tonight. 5-2. It depends on how many shots they had. I might have been a third star, but probably not. Yeah, because we did have five goals, so kind of hard to get in the top three stars there. I'll still take the dub though. The Oilers just won't go away. They're really challenging us for first in the Pacific and I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. We're starting against the Vancouver Canucks here who aren't doing so well. They're 20th in the league at the moment and we have a great first period, a great second period and a good game to jump into. Let's do this thing. We are doing very well right now as a squad. As I said, the first time I simulated a bunch of games, it didn't end up very well. This time it went phenomenally, and we are battling for first in the division. I don't know where we would be in the league. I guess it does say that on the screen right there, you know, the main screen, but didn't really look at that. So I guess we'll find out after this game, which we would anyway, because it's the third and final game, and then I go look at the stats, so... Yeah, we'll find out momentarily. I think we have to be up there, though. I would say top five for sure. Ooh, potentially breakaway pass for Pedersen, who tries to go short side, does not succeed. Gets the puck back, though, and now Garland's got it. Tries to turn around and shoot, but our defense giving him no room whatsoever. Great job shutting them down, Knights. No way, what a save. Also, a tremendous pass from Nate Mack. That hit looked very interesting. I feel like Larkin just did a wall squat and then sat back up. And it was a very low wall squat. Cam Atkinson, I knew he was going to go there. I was ready for the shot. But as soon as I saw that guy streak into the net, I was like, there's no way he's shooting that. Nice try. Demko almost fooled there. Looked like it could have potentially went five hole, but his pad did manage to stop it. Oh, what happened there? 
Demko had to reach back for that, and he played it out, which is going to result in a goal. Wowzers. Not a good look from Demko right now. Once again, my curiosity is getting the better of me. They have Chikrin, but anyway, it's in the slot there, and then he does like a toe drag thing. Their player picks it up, and yeah, that was headed towards the net. And then Demko's like, sure, I'll pass it out. Hughes has no idea what to do with it. Easy goal. And he also knocked off the water bottle. Disgusting. Easy save. I did it. I did it. Hoaglander is in. Tries to take a shot. My positioning was horrible there. But we still managed to make the save, thankfully. Come on here, boys. Let's get something going. Let's get another one. Get the insurance marker plus one. Achari's got it. Behind the net. Or we could just kill time, actually. If you guys want to deploy that strategy, I'm on board for that as well. I'm interested to see how Eichel's been doing, because obviously, he was not doing so well. I think we had, like, 29 games played, and he only had 19 points or something like that. So, disappointing start from him. But with all the wins we've been having, maybe he really picked it up. I guess we'll find out soon. And here come the Vancouver Canucks. Atkinson picks it up. Oh my word, that's a X-Factor shot as well. And a glove save. Atkinson behind the net. I tried to poke check it because I thought he was going to walk out. But he fooled me. Oh my word. I just barely got over in time for that. I made a really dramatic slide for no reason. I don't know why I did it. But I had to slide back. And I got back just in time to kick the puck away. Then they got another chance there. But it wasn't very good. They are putting on a lot of pressure right now though. I'm getting so lucky. Nice play. That was beautiful. Cop with a nice deke takes it wide. Purposefully shoots it low. So the rebound comes out to Nate Mack who crashes the net and gets us that third goal. We now have a three goal lead. And that is going to be the nail for sure. This game is done. But again, the shutout. Will we get the shutout? Vancouver's got a whole 60 seconds to ruin that for me. I mean, I could also just ruin it myself, as I almost did right there with that horrible pass. Oh, no way. They took a penalty as well. This game's 100% done. I mean, it already was. But now it's just, like, super done, you know? Tell you what, if they send the puck down the ice, I'll try to go for the glitch goal. Because it is 3-0, and we're gonna win no matter what, so it doesn't really change the result of the game at all. Pedersen takes one, kick it aside. Am I able to, like glove it and then put it down onto my stick or is that not a thing great defensive play well the shutout did in fact remain intact great save by demko there but that will do it for this one a solid three nothing w for the knights and we are rolling a 34 save shutout nonetheless first star no questions asked just show it to me yeah that goal was that was something that's for sure I don't know what Demko was thinking, but he pulled a big time me. And there you go. First star, Timothy Jimothy. Not a big deal. There was certainly a few times there that I should have been scored on and got lucky. I don't care. I'll take it. We're all the way up to second in the league. Holy smokes, what a year. First in the division, only one point up on Edmonton though. And eight points up on the Kraken. So basically... Edmonton and us are pulling away from the rest of the pack. Columbus is three points up on us with the same amount of games, but we could overtake them. Nate, 60 points, 53 games, very solid. Stone, 46. Eichel only has 34. What's going on? I don't know how we're doing so well when we're not really getting a whole lot of offense. Never mind. I know how. There's your answer. 25, 11, and 2. Four shutouts and a 923. And even Carell has a 930 with a record of 11, four and two. So next video will be the trade deadline and we will get to see who, if anybody, we pick up. Kucherov is currently leading the league with a nice amount of points. And then we got McDusty with 65. The man, the myth, the legend that scored on my absolute dang it in the playoffs. Connor Bedard with 63 points. Same with Marchi, point right there at 62. Oh, Patrick Kane, where did he end up? He what a trader. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Only one more before we enter the playoffs yet again. And we will hopefully see a bit of a better run. Second round, that's good and all for the first time. But, you know, now we're going to be a goalie with some playoff experience. So we have no excuse. We got to do well. On that note, guys, I'll see you soon.